You wanna know what I love? When things go better than I possibly could have ever imagined them going. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. BuzzFeed just posted a second article. The nipples have been freed. It is one of the greatest days in the history of misogyny. Misogyny is gone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've pretty much solved um, every problem that sexism is no more existent, essentially. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that means you didn't watch the last video um, and download the BuzzFeed app because guess what? BuzzFeed posted a second article and the U.S. Tennis Association is sorry. My friends, the misogyny has come to an end finally. Uh, you know, we were looking at one one day there where I just couldn't see light at the end of the tunnel. I was depressed. I was um, I, I was I was bordering honestly. I was bordering um, changing my gender because I just can't stand being in this skin um, while knowing there are so many other misog misogynist males out there. But then BuzzFeed released a new story, and let me tell you, it's it's it's. I, I, I'm ecstatic right now. You probably can't tell. This is the face of me being ecstatic. I'm about to smile, actually, and that doesn't happen very frequently. So this is this is a very big, big moment for me um, because literally not even 24 hours after I pointed out a god-awful article by BuzzFeed, they revamped their article to be even worse than it initially was, and they released a new article on the same topic. I, people ask me if God's real. There's no way you can't believe in God because nothing can write a story this great. Let's dive down this rabbit hole, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so you'll see there's a sensitive content warning up on the screen, and that's because we're about to actually watch the instance happen. Um, so get ready for some straight-up misogyny. I don't know if this was posted yesterday or not. Uh, I didn't really check that well for it. I was just kind of scrolling through reading the article. I was more focused on the article. This video might have been up yesterday, though, but I noticed it on the article today. So we're going to watch it today and see some misogyny. So fair warning. Now, here we have the penalty, folks, and this is what it's being called for. Here's the form entry into taking off her shirt, beautifully executed. And now you'll notice she reaches it and pulls it over her head. And what the refs are looking for is the shirt to completely come off. However, the film cuts it off, and we don't get to see if she actually takes it fully off of her arms, completing the takeoff. But we do see her putting it back on. And yeah, it's it's hard to tell because the film doesn't really catch it all. But this is the tail we're seeing right here. It looks like she fully took it off. It looks like it had that momentum. And here she puts it back on and... We see where the penalty was called, and she's looking quite confused at this ref. Uh, it's it's a bit too early to tell, but this mm. might be a penalty. I mm -hmm. don't know. Yeah. Uh, maybe it, just a warning. I, I think it's a little bit too close to call right now. It, well, I think the refs actually would be leaning a little bit more towards it, because if you look at this film right here again, and again, the film, it really is not very precise. It doesn't cut all the way through, but if you look right here, it looks like she's holding it in her hand, which would complete the takeoff maneuver, and that would be a penalty coming her way. Well, actually, just a warning of a penalty, because this is her first offense, but um, yeah, I don't know, Phil. It It's looking awfully bad for her, and uh, we're going to, yeah, we're looking for the official call from the refs now. Yeah, so as you can see, pretty crazy stuff. It was pretty crazy when they were calling it. No one was really quite sure if she was going to get the penalty for <clears throat> actually taking her shirt off or not. But um, as you see here, we've got the only two paragraphs. Okay, there was a third one. So we've got the only three paragraphs. These are the top two that they added when they revised it. And at first, I, I said in the comments, you can actually go and check this. I said, I'm like, oh, I think they took it down. Well, no, they took it down because they were revising it. And um, this is what they said. The U.S. Tennis Association, which puts on the U.S. Open, said a statement later on Wednesday that it clarified its police. Um, I believe that's supposed to say policy. I hate to rain on your parade, but I'm 90% sure that's supposed to say policy and not police. To ensure that this will not happen moving forward. Fortunately, she was only assessed a warning with no further penalty or fine, the association added. So, so if, you, if you're if you with me, like you should be, because this isn't that hard to follow, but BuzzFeed can't do that. But if you're with me, you're smarter than BuzzFeed. Congratulations. And essentially, people were flipping out because of it wasn't a penalty. No, no, no. It was a warning that she might receive a penalty should she take her shirt off in the middle of a match again. So people were flipping out. BuzzFeed was flipping out because of sexism. Um, and they, they misreported the whole thing, by the way. They knew very well that she didn't get penalized for it. And they still left, I love this, at the end of the article that we're currently looking at, they still left the subsequently lost. She didn't lose because of it. That's not what subsequently means is because, but it implies that she lost because of the penalty. She did not lose because of the penalty. She didn't even get a point taken off because of the penalty. There was no, the penalty interfered nothing with her. She took a great mental hit. What, what The penalty had nothing to do with her losing anyways. But my favorite part is the ref didn't even, didn't even, he said, hey, you know what? 
you're on live TV, maybe it's not a great idea to take your shirt off. And people need to... That's sexist! But this is where it gets awesome. This is where... The, oh, man. Dude, this is why I'm saying you couldn't write anything better than this. So this is what they have the nerve, the chutzpah to say. But by then, fan outrage on Twitter regarding the double standards had already traveled far. <laughs> That's kind of kind of wild how those those crazy cats on Twitter kind of jump the gun, and that kind of and that kind of unfortunate how huh? they all they, they all misunderstood what was going on, and it was it was too late because they'd already been informed by someone I I don't know who, but <laughs> isn't that weird that they they kind of they misinterpreted the whole thing and kind of got a little crazy on it, huh? How immature are those crazy cats on Twitter. We would never do anything that dumb, huh? Yeah, isn't it awesome? Isn't that great though that people that people jump the gun like that in that in that need we that's so immature of them all oh, those crazy twitter cats always overreacting to stuff and good thing too bad they can't go back on it we, we they, they're so dumb they're, they're so stupid all right so this is the second article well not all of it but this is essentially everything that you don't know already, which is very little. It, it's just a repeat of what was modified in the old one. Um, it, it addresses the fact that all players can change shirts while sitting in a player chair, which is not considered a violation. However, this I find really, really interesting. It says all players, it specifies there. Female players, if they choose, may also change their shirts in a more private location, close to the court, when available. Hmm. Now, something's kind of weird. Something's kind of funky about that. The way you worded it kind of was kind of weird. Do you guys feel that too? Because in the other one, he said all players could sit down. But then the other one, he specified that female players could go to a, a private room. It almost makes it sound like male players can't do that. That'd be wild if they couldn't because, you know, it'd be... I don't know. There's a term for that, I think, when you're discriminative towards someone's sex because the, the men can't go to a private room. Well, it, it may, they're making it sound like the men can't go to a private room to change it. That sounds like, I don't know, it sounds like they're being... The term's escaping me right now. I think it might be sexist, maybe. And there's really only one more minor thing I wanted to point out about this article. She says, I think it's very fair for them to apologize to me. <laughs> Do you really? I... I wouldn't have guessed. I, I'd think you'd think it was unjust or misogynistic or sexist somehow. I, I wouldn't think you'd think it's fair for them to do that. Um, yeah, this is the only other. It, it's just a quote directly from her. I don't know. She's, she, she is fair in it. I mean, she is pretty fair. I'll give her that. She she talks about how she it was just a an umpire's mistake, which it really wasn't a mistake. If it's part of the rules, it's part of the rules. Although it's, they're, they're arguing whether it is part of the rules, but not the rules here, but it is. So whatever. We'll call it a mistake on the umpire's part if we really want to. It's fine. I'm fine with that. It still doesn't make it right to slander the umpire, dox him, give his name out in public and whatever. But it's fine. It, 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 I just wanted to make that comment. It probably wasn't worth it, actually. Now I'm just rambling. Well, guys, I just want to thank you for helping me end misogyny. I wanted to make this a shorter video today, but that didn't happen because, you know, when you're fighting sexism and xenophobism, it, it's not easy, and it takes time. But um, I just had an epiphany. You know, yesterday there was obviously everyone could see the misogyny in tennis was just rampant. But ever since Captain Feminism came along, it's all seemed to come come to a head. It's all seemed to come come to a stop, and people are going back. Huh. Maybe Captain Feminism has something to do with this. I think I know what must be done. This world has no one to protect it. I was once a civilian, much like you. No one cared until I put on the mask. I swore to protect the people of this good world against misogyny, tyranny, but most importantly, other men. They came 
and they came in troves. But I was able to fight them off. Now, their threats go beyond the realm of tennis. They are threatening our cities, our homes, our families. I must protect them. They say that I ain't fast, but they don't really know. I'm fast as heck, motherfucker.